All right, guys, it's the next day, and I've had some time to clear my mind, refresh, take a step back, and to stop crying about what's going on. And it wasn't until I was talking to the homies last night, and Bino, he gave me the idea to just rethread the ball joint and the castle nut. Makes sense, right? I mean, I just rethreaded that hole for the Achilles coil, so. I don't know, I just wasn't really thinking, but I mean, I think I should be able to do this. See, the bottom is uh, pretty bent, but it's just the tip that's uh, warped. So I just gotta rethread the tip right here and rethread this bolt, this castle nut, and everything should be good. I should be able to put the lube back together and drive it today. Yeah. So the dilemma last night was to get a new ball joint for the driver's side, or just go ahead and order a camera kit for the front. Cause I do have a new wheel set up and more than likely it's gonna give me a lot of clearance and I'm gonna wanna go lower. So eventually I'm definitely gonna need a camera kit. So I figured, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just order a camera kit. All right, well, let's go and pull out the rethread kit. All right, so we'll be working with another Harbor Freight tool set. This is the tap and die set by Surebuilt. Ooh, ah. All right, so we just need this uh, little gauge right here. This tool is gonna help us determine the uh, thread pitch. To my understanding, thread pitch is the distance between each thread. So on metric, it's either gonna be 1.0, 1.25, or 1.5. And we'll go from there. All right, looks like we have a winner. See how it sits flush? This is a 1.25. Yeah. All right, so since the ball joint threads is 1.25, this is obviously gonna be 1.25, and we just gotta find the uh, right size that goes in this hole. So it's gonna be an M8, M10, or M12. Turn a little bit and go back. Turn a little bit and go back. All right, it looks like it goes all the way in. Yeah. So the castle nut is good. It looks nice and shiny inside. Nice new threaded threads. And now we just need the M10125 for the upper ball joint. Whoa, geez, hello there, nice wheels. All right, so this tool looks really wide. Hopefully I got enough clearance to work on that. Ooh, I got enough clearance, yeah. All right, so with the help of my brother, <laughs> I had him hold the uh, what is this called? I like to call these pliers, whatever. I had them hold this and the ball joint down. So the tricky thing about um, using this on a ball joint is because the ball joint, you know, it moves in any direction. So it definitely helps to have someone hold this down and you push it while you spin this around. Guys, the inevitable happened. Everything's back together and I'm finally able to put the new wheels on the lude. Oh yeah. Man, I'm so excited. I want to do a handstand. Oh, fuck. <sighs> yo, let's go and put these wheels on the lude, yo. All right, which one's going to be the lucky one to go on the passenger side? I think they're all exactly the same. It's a square setup, so all the tires are the same, so it don't really matter. Let's get one with a cap, because that one doesn't have a cap on it. Oh, shoot. And I got to get the sticker off. Yeah. I also picked up some generic looking uh, acorn wheel nuts Cause yo, I saw some cool ones on Amazon And it was on Amazon Prime But yo, when I ordered it, two days later I tried to check on yo, when is it coming in But yo, it was gonna take like another two weeks So even though it was Amazon Prime It's not really two days shipping <laughs> There's actually been a few other items that I tried to order Through Amazon Prime And the wait would be at least a week. Have any of you guys had that same issue? Let me know in the comments below. But yo, if you got aftermarket wheels, make sure you got the right wheel lugs, wheel nuts, whatever, because these are acorn styles, which are these, whereas the OEM wheels have a rounded uh, wheel lug right there. It's kind of hard to tell, but the top one is the acorn style, where it's like a straight edge, whereas down here it's more rounded on the very tip. So if you get new wheels, be sure you check that you got the right wheel lugs. Yo guys, dang, this is pretty bright. All right, well, uh, I kind of got carried away. Um, I found out that the wheel lugs I had were the wrong size. So luckily with the thread pitch thingy I got, I was able to figure out the right thread pitch. So I got the new 
uh, lug nuts, and I went to go get something to eat. <sighs> so now it's night mode. We got the light on, and I'm excited. I just want to get these wheels on, even though if it's dark. I got the wheels on right now, and we're about to lower the load for the first time with these new tires. Ah, let's see how this goes. Oh man. Dang, look at that wheel fitment. Sheesh. It looks like I got a lot of room. Here's the driver's side. Man, this thing looks way too high. So much wheel gap. Ah. I'm gonna have to change that real soon. But um, I don't know, it doesn't look too bad. With the light shining on it and on video, it does look kind of different. We'll see. Well, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the mirrors on. And tomorrow morning, I'll be able to show you guys what it looks like in broad daylight. Yeah.